Before we get right into the video, I'm going to be giving away two copies of Destiny 2 Forsaken Digital Deluxe. If you want to win the first copy, all you have to do is simply like the video, leave a comment down below, and also subscribe to the channel. If you want to win the second copy, check the link down below in the description. Again, I want to thank really quick Bungie and Activision for allowing me to give away two copies of Destiny 2 Forsaken. Cerberus plus one. That's right. What's up YouTube and Privileged Ones? Hello and welcome back to the channel for yet another Destiny 2 video. Today's exotic weapon review, Cerberus Plus One, the exotic auto rifle primary kinetic weapon that has four gun barrels. You heard me right. It has four gun barrels. This weapon looks like it came out of a junkyard where apparently some gunsmith, gun dealer, or whoever threw out a ton of weapons so he couldn't get caught by the police. And some person came by and just put it all together into a monstrosity and told you, hey guardian, go into the crucible and have some fun with this. With that being said, the perk sh uh, shot package, spread shot package, is a trait on it that aiming this weapon reduces the spread of its projectiles where you're definitely gonna need this because again, it does fire from all four gun barrels. And that perk is the exotic intrinsic perk, Four-Headed Dog, where shoots erratic bullets from all the gun barrels at the same time. It's got a magazine size of 31, and each bullet from that magazine constitutes as four bullets. That's right. So if you unload the entire magazine, that's 124 rounds in your opponents. Now, it does have other barrel types, and it's kind of like a meme just saying, hey, this gun was made from multiple guns, so let's have different barrels on the gun at the same time. Rifled barrel, which is a ranged shotgun barrel, is on this weapon. We've got fluted barrel, and we've also got full bore. That's right. It's a very interesting weapon, but is it any good? Well, we did a gun test. We shot it at a wall, and from close range, the shots seem to stay pretty close together. But if you're not aiming it, they spread out a little bit more. And as far as you go back from the wall, it spreads out even more. So in the crucible, if you wanted to use it, you would have to be pretty much from medium to short range. And if you barrel stuff the guy and get up close and personal, and if you're in his face, you're going to absolutely melt them in less than a second. Honestly, it does a ton of damage if you're up close and personal, because you have to think every time it fires, it's shooting four rounds into the enemy. Now, the body damage in the Crucible is going to be 17 damage. The precision damage is 28, and in PvP, um, that's not too bad. But again, if you're going to be shooting from medium to long range, you're going to be missing a lot more shots. The bullets are sporadic, and if you're aiming for the crit, you might get one crit shot, but the rest of the bullets are most likely to either miss, or maybe a few of them will hit the target, doing a little bit of extra damage, but not so much. And if you are going to be running this up close and personal, you may win a couple of gunfights really quickly, but now that you're allowed to use shotguns and fusion rifles and swords more often, this is going to be a problem, especially shotguns and fusion rifles. Being able to be in your primary and secondary slots, fusion rifles and shotguns are going to be a huge problem inside the Crucible against this weapon. So you're not going to be finding any real use for this weapon in the Crucible. Alongside that though, in PvE, I found that trying to clear out a group of adds was more annoying than anything else. So this is kind of really just a gun to put in your inventory as some meme for you to have a little bit of fun with, but actually doing some serious damage I really don't see this gun being used for anything in particular, like nightfalls or strikes in general, and I would definitely not use it inside the raid. And again, it's just a meme to use in the Crucible. So is it really good? I don't know. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section. And if any of you Guardians have had the chance of using Cerberus Plus One, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comment section as well. I want to know what you think. Because right now, I don't think it's good, but I don't think it's bad. It is a fun weapon to use, but it's not the best weapon to use, if that makes any sense. But as for right now, 
That is the short exotic weapon review for Cerberus Plus One. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like on it, leave a comment down below. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe for future Destiny content. To every single one of you though, stay violent, be privileged.